Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit late market outlook video today, but I just want to get it in and talk about what we could be seeing throughout this final promo week of Festival of Football and Summer Stars in FIFA 21. Talk about the 81 plus player picks, the expensive Eusebio SBC that we saw yesterday, and the Lucas Paqueta. But fodder is cheap, that is good, and some of these Summer Stars cards have been moving on the market. I've traded with a few of them, and they actually got low a little bit last night. Of course, we weren't able to shout that before it happened, but with some squad battle rewards and just what happened with the game last night, a lot of these Summer Stars cards got cheap, and as I'm recording us into the day on Monday, they're actually starting to rise back up a little bit as they're getting a little bit rare. So I want to talk about that and of course some of the PTG cards because we had some huge drop-offs on of course some of those England cards and some of those Brazil cards as well. I want to talk about those prices and just look at the market a little bit in this video today. Also, I know we have FIFA 22 information firing hot off the press. So if you guys want me to do a specific video looking at all the FIFA 22 information that we have seen released from EA Sports or quote unquote leaked otherwise, let me know down in the comments and uh, we can definitely sort that up because there's a lot of that information that is coming out and there's a lot that I'm already thinking about and a lot that we already know that is going to be impacted for the market in FIFA 22 based off of what we learned. But let's continue talking about the game at hand and that is FIFA 21. Of course, we really wanted the 81 plus player picks for upgrade packs. I was talking about that uh, on the Sunday video and that is what EA Sports delivered. They delivered the 81 plus upgrade packs and it's not just three choices, it's four. So of course, uh, I'm wondering if rares are actually up on the market a little bit. They also released an 81 to 87 rare player pick as well. But to be completely honest with you, uh, I bet that a lot of people are just doing the 81 plus player picks because that those I'm going to say that that is going to be the most iconic SBC of FIFA 21. Yeah, look at these rares, man. They're, the rares are like 1,000, 1,100 coins. I 100% expected that. 100% willing to pay that as well because at 99 Neymar in packs, people are going to be grinding those upgrades. So GG's to EA Sports for dropping that 81+. plus. Now, yesterday as well, we had a Lucas Paqueta, which kind of is a little bit expensive, but with the way fodder is uh, and the, the fact that this guy has some really interesting links... Uh, a lot of people weren't happy with this yesterday, but this is a pretty nice card, right? The links make it a pretty nice SBC. It's an 85 and 87 rated squads, I believe. Comes in at about 270,000 coins. Five star skills, three star weak foot. His tots actually is four star, four star. So it's interesting. They upgraded the skill move, but they took a star away from his weak foot. So that's a bit interesting on that Lucas Paqueta. Not too many people were happy about that. Of course, uh, the player pick upgrade SBCs were very nice. And we got to talk about this Eusebio SBC, man, because this card has dropped off insane amounts in the last few days, but there's 17 squads to this Eusebio. And it's still, with fodder prices being low right now, this card, this SBC doesn't look that bad. Actually, 2.3 mil is what this is coming in at on Footbin, but still, 17 squad just has the potential for it to be way, way, way too much when this fodder does end up going back up. Now, Eusebio's card was 3 mil yesterday, right? I, I did not buy one. I know I said in the video that if he got to 3 mil, I would look to buy one, but the supply was just too much, right? Here in the morning, he went down to 2.7. Now, the SBC was released. He went down to 2.5 and has since rebounded back up to around 2.8 mil, but the SBC doesn't look like too terrible value right now, but I'm telling you, throughout this week, as we get more SBCs, I expect these fodder prices to go back up. As you can see, fodder went down a lot yesterday, even more with the supply from preview packs and I guess less than desirable SBCs for some people. You see 84 is down in the 7k range, 85 is at 10 to 11, 86 is at 19. This might be the lowest that they get, right? Because the supply is done. This stuff is probably going to be going up throughout the week, right? The Ramos SBC is such a, a good barometer for me on how low fodder is. Take a look at this SBC, man. 700k. This guy was a million coins. Drop down. And um, as fodder got cheaper last week, he just kind of continues to drop down in price. Uh, well, that was actually after this. This drop is from yesterday only. Excuse me. This is from yesterday only the last couple days. Basically, since Friday, as fodder has dropped down, I thought that was like the daily one. This is the graph I wanted to show you, right? Started off at 1.2 mil, dropped down to 800K, went back up to a mil when fodder was expensive last week. 
and is again dropping off into the 700k range to do this Rommel. So right now, I'm really going to craft SBCs today on Monday or craft 81 pluses because I want to get this Rommel's done. That is an SBC that I want to do. And if I have to go and buy SBC players for it, they're a lot cheaper right now off the market. So I do expect to see a lot of that fodder rising up throughout this week. I expect to see, you know, the 82 times 10 or 83 times 10, 84 plus player picks, all sorts of those types of SBCs. I would 100% expect to see this week. Now, I would also expect to see a like summer stars guaranteed. Now, I don't know if they're going to make it like a guaranteed team one and team two. Um, because I believe that might have been what they did with um, the first and second team of PTG. I don't quite remember, to be completely honest with you, if they did a guaranteed team two, but I would expect some sort of summer stars guaranteed that would cover these cards that are in packs. Now, again, these guys got kind of low last night with squad battles and with uh, a lot of cards got just low, right? Last night on the market, Sunday night into Monday morning, you can see Raheem the Dream Sterling, who started off around squad battle rewards, kind of fluctuating around, got to all the way down to 1.1 mil on about both consoles. Has not really risen back up yet too much on Xbox, but is up about 60K on the PlayStation. Uh, another card that did that with a decent rise is Ferran Torres. He was down to 120,000 coins. Cavani was like 140 something. Um, how much was Gomez? 270K for Gomez. It's pretty cheap. I wonder if he actually got lower than that last night. He was down to 266, so not a crazy, crazy drop or or rise, honestly, on a lot of these cards. How about Neymar? Neymar being 4.3 mil just goes to show. And again, we talked about it on the video uh, yesterday, is just that the crazy amount of supply, you, you see it, right? We look back at Saturday, Neymar was 6 mil. We had those ultimate packs that were previewable in the store, um, eight of them, I think, and that destroyed, that destroyed the market on Saturday. And that's why these prices are pretty low. To be completely honest with you, these prices might be rising up in the next day or two. Some of these cards could rise up a little bit. Now, I know we have player picks. I know we have a lot of coins being drained off this game through those player picks and through SBCs. Um, but I still think that there's a possibility that with, depending on, ooh, 82 plus times 5, 50,000 coins for that pack. Well, let's preview it. But, um... Without lightning rounds and without as many player uh, packs in the store, I mean, of course, if you have packs like this, there's going to be a little bit of supply coming onto the market for these cards. Wow, that's that is uh, that pack sucks. 50k for that pack? No thanks. Anyways, um, I, I see now EA putting in those co those pack code cards, not cards, the packs that we had added to the code, like the 81 times seven, the 82 times five. I'm seeing those added in now from like last week. So one other thing that we could see added to the code just today on Monday and expect to see today on Monday is an icon repeatable SBC, whether it be a player pick icon SBC or some sort of uh, some icon casino SBC, if you will. That's been coming on Mondays and that's one thing that actually I expect to see today. Now, actually last week on Monday, we had a code drop by Footwatch in the morning for a new Icon SBC, I believe it was an Icon SBC, and some of those packs, right? So, watch out for that again this morning. This is a bit of the trading that I did. I bought some cards on Saturday, and they rebounded into Sunday morning. I bought this cane for 230. I bought these Sterlings for under 1.2. Didn't really make much on those. Make like, honestly, like 25K between both of them. Ferran Torres is around 130,000 coins, 135K for the buy price on these. So some nice small fluctuations that I was able to trade with, with that insane supply that we had on Saturday with those uh, ultimate packs being previewed. Now, again, just a reminder that Friday, these preview packs are going to be going away. The whole, the, the, this whole thing of previewing packs is going to be done on Friday, according to EA's website. So it'll go back to quote unquote normal where you don't actually preview the pack. But again, really seems like that is going to be something that we're going to see going forward into FIFA 22. So player SBCs this week, what other type of content could we expect? Again, I really expect an icon repeatable SBC today. Hopefully it's like a moments player pick, like maybe a 92 plus attacker or midfielder. I think that'd be a sweet SBC. Again, all of these packs that we have available through swaps, 92 plus moments pack, 92 plus, well, hopefully no more prime icons. It's gotta be moments only from here on out. 92 plus uh, moments midfielder, 
um, you know, 92 plus attacker, 93 plus icon moments player pick. That would be an insane SBC for them to drop. So all of those types of packs that we have added to the code, they could 100% drop. Now for player SBCs, player SBCs last week after I think it was like Monday or Tuesday really slowed down. So we've had Dolberg, we've had Paqueta, uh, and there was one more I believe that we had. Uh, oh, we had the showdown SBC. So, you know, I would expect maybe one or two more player SBCs this week, whether they are Summer Stars players, whether they are flashbacks. I really think a lot of people are hoping for a Summer Stars Pedri, right? I think, we, I think especially after Pedri being named Young Player of the Tournament, we're really hoping for an SBC for him. That'd be dope. Maybe they give Donnarumma an SBC um, because of his award that he received. I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully one or two more player SBCs this week. And then, of course, hopefully a lot of those, you know, 85 plus, 87 times three. We've had those like two weeks in a row now. That'd be nice to see again. I think people like that SBC. It's not terrible value. More like 84 plus player picks and stuff like that. Now, I mentioned the Euros and I mentioned the games that happened on the weekend. Uh, of course, yesterday with England losing to Italy. What an insane game, by the way. Going to penalties for the final of the Euros. I mean, just... Thinking about that, that is, as more of a neutral fan, in all honesty, that was just insane football to watch. Insane. Like, it's just, it's wild that the final of the Euros went down to penalties, right? Just from a football perspective, that was crazy. Now, also, taking a look at some of these cards on the market, this Foden literally halved in price. This man was down to five, like 650K, right? Th this morning... 650k now rising back up getting super duper duper uh you know bought back up as people are like man this is still a 98 rated Foden card you know and buying that card back up after the panic selling which is 100 percent expected but still what a what a drop and what a rise this card literally went from 1.2 mil all the way down to 650,000 coins now Chilwell still 180k as well uh there was still a potential five star five star upgrade out there for the England lads, um, but of course the cards from Italy did not get will not get any upgrades from the game yesterday. So uh, this went from like almost 300,000 coins down to 160 at its lowest, and it's now rising back up, kind of inching towards 200k for that Chilwell card. Um, Acuna, on the other hand, and some of your winners on the other hand, actually went up. Acuna is 1.2 million coins. He's going to get that five-star, five-star upgrade. Now, I hope EA upgrade these before Friday because that would be just really boring if they didn't. Acuna is actually up 100K from last night. Um, but I hope they upgrade these showdown cards because the, all the games are over. EA Sports, just upgrade them. And same thing with Jorginho. Jorginho should get upgraded before. If they're going to upgrade the Path to Glory cards on Friday, um, this Jorginho should get upgraded before them. Usually with showdown cards, it doesn't take them too much long after the game is over. To, like usually like 48 hours or less has been the time frame for these showdown items like Jorginho to get his plus two. Uh, so that SBC, if you did that, you're feeling pretty good there. Uh, and then the only upgrades that are again going to come out of those final games played in the past couple days uh, are going to be for Acuna and Paredes going five star, five star. Now, also, we should have a Davinson Sanchez that'll be getting a plus two because they got their third win of the tournament in the third place game for the Copa America. So, the Davinson Sanchez, in all honesty, should be getting a plus two. Now, I don't know if EA is going to forget about that or not regard it because it was the third place game, uh, but I hope they do regard it and I hope they do give this man an upgrade because technically he did get. Uh, three wins. So it should be getting a plus two going to a 95. And that is nice. I got one in the club for the Spurs team. So we're happy about that one right there. So that's kind of the situation with Path to Glory cards. Again, just the amount of drop off in the market recently in the past couple of days with all of these summer stars. I mean, if you take a look at summer stars team two, and if you just look at how affordable all these cards are, we have 96, 97, 98 rated cards under 300,000 coins, right? I know it's July. I know it's the end of the game. We're starting to talk about the new game. There's a lot of hype with that. But, I mean, it's just crazy to see, and it's just nuts to see, especially every year with FIFA, how the game kind of, you know, moves into the summer. And this year, I mean, we're seeing the cheapest prices with all the supply, all of the packs we've had this year. This is These are the cheapest prices that we have seen, like, ever for end game cards, even with these high ratings. I mean, this Neymar, whose team of the season item just a month ago was 9 million coins. His team of the season item is now 
you know, shoot, the 99 rated left wing item is 4.3 mil, and this one's 3.7 million coins. So a crazy drop off. Icon moments, you guys know, those have been dropping like nuts. We were taking a look at those on the weekend. Uh, you know, this Cantona, you know, who's now under a million coins. I mean, that's insane for how high he was. Zidane's 2.8, how much is he now? Still around 2.8, 2.7 maybe? Yeah, still around there. Uh, moments Maradona was like 2.2. He's just really, really rare at the moment. It's just crazy to see how some of these card prices have dropped off just with the end of the game. People may be leaving the game and, you know, probably a little bit less coins on the market as well from all these SBCs that have come out and just a lot of coin drain. And again, people leaving the game influences that as well in my opinion. But that's going to be the video for today, boys. That's the market outlook for this week. Hopefully today on Monday, we see some good, a player SBC and an icon moments SBC would be fantastic. I'm going to be spamming the rest of my, not the entire rest of my coins, but probably a million coins this week is going to be going into player pick packs, trying to snag that Neymar. Some of you guys have already tweeted me um, pictures of yourselves already packing cards from this team. So I'm going to be doing that, crafting SBCs, and it's going to be fun, right? This is the time we've traded hard all year. We're going to use our coins and have fun with those uh, to the best of our ability. So thank you for watching this video again. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to see a FIFA 22 release news video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.